Hello, it's me. I was wondering if after all these years you'd like to meet. It's 844. Do you know where your students are? I'm Jacob Harvey. Grant Vedman. Yep. News correspondence. For the uh, morning announcements here, check out the Squire online at www.squirenews.com. See the website for regular updates of EHS events. Attention all students after school tutoring every Wednesday from 3.30 to 5.30. Any students in need of academic assistance are encouraged to stay after and take advantage of this great opportunity. In uh, club news, students in grades 10 through 12 that are interested in applying for the National Honor Society or Junior National Honor Society can pick up an application in the guidance office or from Mrs. Deach's room G125. Deadline for applying is Tuesday, March 1st. On Saturday, February 20th, Student Council will host the second annual snowball dance from 7 to 10 p.m. in the cafeteria. That would be this Saturday. You yes. uh, going? Oh, we'll see. I got baseball at 5. I'm on the court. I got a tight schedule. I'll probably make an appearance. But I, I, I think you yeah, made court, so. I did make court. I think that's a must go. Yeah you'll, yeah, you'll probably see me there. I'll be yeah. getting it down on the dance floor that's, like usual. That's right. So uh, the cost is $5 for students in grades 9 through 12 only at the door. And we will nominate prince and princess, king and queen court from the, you know, respective grades. And the winners will be announced at the dance. Mr. EHS will be held this upcoming Wednesday at 7 o'clock. Entrance is $4. The event will be in the auditorium. Um, it might, is it too, yeah, it's too late to register, right? I have no idea. I don't know. Talk to Miss Howe if you want to be in it, but you're running low on time. So if you are in it, there will be a rehearsal after school on Tuesday, at, right after school at 3.30. So get all your stuff done with that. News from Guidance. A reminder to ninth graders, if you're planning on attending the Career Center next year, make sure you've completed the application sheet and have selected a program. See Mr. Demarest for more questions. Any student who has not received scheduling materials, please contact Guidance ASAP. Students interested in St. Bonaventure dual enrollment, please complete your course request as if you are staying at Eisenhower. The SBU program is being finalized and materials will be dispersed once they are completed. JCC's open house is Saturday, February 27th. More information available for that and Guidance. Students, be sure to check the SAT testing schedule. Sign up for the test this spring. Those are fun. That's a long eight-hour day. Seniors, as usual, there's about 400 scholarships available in the guidance office. In uh, athletic news, there will be weightlifting after school Monday, Wednesday, and Thursday from 3.30 to 5. Uh, trap sign-ups. Oh, no, no. Safety, excuse me. Trap safety training will be held Thursday, the 25th, at 6 o'clock p.m. at Sugar Grove Am Vets, which is a mandatory meeting, followed by another training session Saturday, the 27th, at 1 o'clock at the Sugar Grove Am Vets, which is also a mandatory meeting. Whoa. For uh, track, there's pre-season conditioning that will run. <laughs> put a pun in here, uh -huh. that will run every Tuesday and Thursday until the start of track season on March 7th. See Coach Beach for further information. Um, it was quite a basketball game there last night, Harv. It was. It was Prepped down. Yes, uh, you knocked him out, but uh, it was close for most of the game. It was close. We did the usual blow a 12-point lead in the second half. We've done that about every game, luckily. You pulled we it. We didn't lose this time. Right, right. You pulled it instead of... So instead now, of tonight, apart. Northwestern, 7 o'clock in Meadville. They're the number one seed, but they're definitely beatable. And then the girls, tomorrow, 1 o'clock, Meadville. They play feral. So... You got nothing better to do this yes. weekend. 
Head that'd down be, to Meadville Friday night and Saturday. Support your uh, be playoff perfect. basketball Go, go to the game, come home, get down on the dance floor, go to sleep. Sounds Repeat. like a great day, Jaden. That's right. All right, I guess we're headed over to... Uh, somewhere. We're going somewhere. We'll, we'll, see you you. we'll see you there. We're here with your mental health minute. Um, this week's topic is meditation. We have a special new gadget in the studio. Mrs. Alexander's uh, essential oils diffuser. Wow. So, mindfulness or meditation is all about focusing and being in the present moment. Uh, the benefits of meditation. If students meditate before an exam and standardized tests, studies confirm that they will perform better on the test than students who did not meditate before. Mindfulness or meditation helps students focus and concentrate on tasks. This even helps students absorb, absorb what their teachers are saying. Okay. The best part Teens don't have to sit on the couch for an hour doing this thing. All it takes is start slow, five minutes a day. If you want, work your way up to 10 to 15 minutes of sitting on that cushion. The daily consistency of meditation achieves the greatest results, bringing a mindful attitude into every facet of life. And if you have anxiety, depression, or stress, Meditation can relieve all three of them. Wow. So, and this little buddy here put some tranquility in him. Shoots out this little vapor. I don't know if you can see it or not, but calms you down. He so, flying high. Take a five hour energy, come in here, you're napping. So, we're going to demonstrate a little meditation for you. Oh, we're going to demonstrate some meditation for you. First thing is get comfy. Get comfy. Get on your cushion. I'm taking my shoes off. I'm getting my other chair in here. You're supposed to kind of cross your legs. I'm, That's difficult. We're big boys. It's really difficult for people with long legs, so I'm just going to cross one here. Jay's going to prop himself up. First thing you do, you got to close your eyes. I do this first. So Anyways, like this. yes. Close your eyes. Just sit there. You can make the humming sounds like, mmm. -hmm. All that stuff. Five minutes a day. That's it. Keeps the doctor away. Have a great day. Welcome to the entertainment segment of the WIK News. I'm Allison Hazeltine, and filling in for Smart One this week is... Kayla Cupperts. You might recognize me from my puns. Today we have a special interview with student council member Brittany Arp to talk to us about the snowball dance. Hi. Hey. Brittany. <laughs> Whoa, where'd you come from? Anyway, so where did you get the theme? <laughs> the idea for the theme of the dance. Well, Kayla, back centuries ago, when George Washington was crossing the Delaware in the middle of winter, he saw a large ball of snow sitting on the ground. And thus, the snowball dance was born. Wow. I believe it. <laughs> so, when is the dance? The dance is tomorrow night from 7 to 10 p.m. How much are tickets? Tickets are $5, and there is no pre-sale ticket, so you have to buy them at the door. All right. So who's your date, Brittany? Well, I was going to take <laughs> George Washington, but uh, he ditched me, so. Mm -hmm. <laughs> For that Martha lady. Yeah, whoever it was. Anyways, thanks for your time, Brittany. <laughs> yep. Can't wait to see you all at the snowball dance. I won't be there. So, back to you guys, Grant and Jake. It was a good segment of entertainment. Yes, now we're off to an interview with Mr. EHS himself, reigning king Louis Head, to talk about this year's competition. Hi, you're here with The Gab. I'm Mitchell Headman interviewing Louis Head. Um, Louis, how has it felt being reigning Mr. EHS for this year? Um, pretty crazy. You know, I've had some uh, big job openings because I got the role, so uh, it's been pretty spectacular. Um, what do you think helped you win against the other competitors? Um, I'm not going to lie, I had some help from uh, fellow classmates, helped me out a lot. Grant Benman, Jacob Hamilton, uh, did a nice job in the talent. Um, just put myself out there and uh, didn't hold back. So, uh, Will you be hosting Mr. EHS this year? Um, I will not be, but there might be a special appearance, so I'm excited about it. 
Do you have any advice for this year's contestants? Uh, make sure you're looking good. Make sure uh, you pump some iron before you go up so you're looking nice and big and uh, smile pretty. Thank you. Thank you. That's all we have for your morning announcements this week. See you at Mr. EHS with your two lovely hosts. Stay classy, guys. Now. So happy.